What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and we're back on one of my favorite accounts that just keeps evolving from different old school heroes, thanks to Lord Giga, aka Jesper, aka Psychopath on Discord. We have this really cool power up, and we have something pretty interesting, especially as far as the hero choice when it comes to the tenant locations. Remember, last time we were on here, we only had the three tenants, and we had the other Aspen, of course, we had uh, a Walter built up, and we had a Scary built up, but now we finally have the last one, and the choice he went with was an Edgar. I mean, is Lord Balrog, is Horus, is Edgar. Why not build Edgar in, you know, reminiscent of good old Wrath of God gaming? If you guys don't know Wrath of God Gaming, you missed out on a really good time in f as far as Idle Heroes goes. He tried to make Edgar work, did not work. But hey, we got a flag and we got a lot of stats on this hero, kind of. Um, so we are potentially putting more power into our Aspen here. And we do have some stuff to play around with. We have things like uh, a two-star, a Radiant Gilded Purple Fan, which... I think I want to try. Granted, I think speed is kind of necessary here. Uh, but we're going to try this out on a couple different heroes here. We're going to also, the other thing I'm going to try to do is we're just going to run four carries. We're not going to run any Amon Ra's here. We're just going to try to get as many of them to pop up over and over again. Try to get more CC off. And let's see if this Gilded Purple fan does anything for us. We do get a shield, which is nice. I just don't know if the shield is going to be enough to make it worthwhile. Now the carries just die off instantly pretty much, but keeping anybody alive is difficult. They do revive like every round for us though. Eee, Gilded purple fan, definitely not a fan. I, I wanted to test it out, but I think going with anything besides A and B right now, just because of the speed necessary in C lane 25, I think it's just like, you're, we're not gonna be able to do without it. We gotta go first. Yeah, those carries just melt away. They just melt. But the tankiness is kind of good. I think we're just going to lack damage on this account, honestly. Like, I just don't think we have the potential to get the clears. We were doing pretty good because between Balance Strike and us getting kills on enemies, we did have good healing. Oh, God. We got CC. That's that's not good at all. <laughs> that's not good at all. We might, might need to go back to Crowd Control Purify on this one. Kind of hoping the stacks would be pretty big. The only other thing we could think would work is like we get a ton of horrifies off. The blocking is definitely awesome. The issue here is we can't use our imprints to modify a regular Aspen like we could if it was a Lord of Fear Aspen. We could add a ton more block chance in. And the fact that this dragon is just so stinking annoying with his extra attacks. You notice that's happening, right? He's the biggest damage dealer in this wave i'll slow it down for you guys to see so watch the enemies attack so he attacks follows it up they attack follow up attack he attacks follow up attack it gets really really annoying really quickly here and it makes it very difficult to get any type of progression going if only we could get this other lord of fear aspen fast enough and get him going before the enemy as well i that would just be so awesome the problem is you're missing out on so much speed from your cloud island because literally we're gaining what 123 speed like honestly i think even if we had a speed attack stone over here actually what would we have it just for example if we had another 115 let's, let's math this out here calculate this out 115 plus 1850 that'll bring us up to 1965 if we did have another amb as well that's another 70 2035 i don't think 2035 is fast enough because i think if it was fast enough actually i like punisher here um this would work does it work does yeah it's too squishy but okay we can kind of play a game of what speed do we actually need to hit here so 2137 is still quite a bit higher what if we switch it back around to here? 2092. Let's see how this plays out. Is 2092 fast enough? It's still fast enough. Interesting. So we've been kind of running this away. 
with like a speed stone that we didn't actually need to. I want to be careful because I don't want to spend too many gems here. And I've already used a lot of attempts up. Um, but if we get 2035, that would be pretty sweet because we could we could do a little swap here. Actually, we could do something like this. Run the speed stone here. Run this here. And then we could run the AMB over here. But like 1920 isn't going to be fast enough, right? Even with an additional 40 here, 1960, I don't think is fast enough. We would need a speed stone in order for him to go first, but that would mean a lot of healing he could provide himself and potentially get a W. Hmm. What are our gems looking like? Gems are healthy. Okay. Executive decision is being made. We're going to go for another stone here. Something with speed. I mean, I'll hold on to it just in case. I'd love to get like speed crit, or honestly, I'd like to get speed attack. Since he is a tenant, I don't want to lose too much attack that we're feeding off to the main hero. Either way, we do need speed though. I think that's going to be the only way we can get him fast enough. But again, the A and B on him is going to be much, much weaker. Um, speed crit is decent. But again, I'd love to see speed attack. We'll do a couple more converts. I don't want to go below like 300,000. No, 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 nah, forget it, forget it, forget it. We'll go with this and let's see how this turns out. So 2075 and 2137. In reality, yeah, that looks good. Wait, no, it doesn't, no, it doesn't. You switch that back. Okay, okay, let's see. Are they both faster than the enemy now? They are interesting. But again, that AMB is like so much weaker on a hero like him. Oh, this feels so bad though. Like it would be awesome if that could work, but I do really like the crown on this Aspen. Still kind of falls off pretty quickly. We'll do five more attempts. Let's just see how this plays out. Honestly, I wonder what happens if we switch their position now. If we have him with a crown in the front row, and him in the back row, he still dies so, so quickly. But front row Aspen, not horrible. Hmm. I wonder if just running him with Unbending Will is the better option then. Yeah, he's just not healing because he needs Unbending Will. We could try it with Balance Strike to see what happened. Yeah, it's just these later rounds, we start losing that extra damage reduction from the crown, and that's where we really, really start struggling. I mean, we could try it. I just don't think it's going to work out for us. I think he's just going to die in the first round, potentially, unless we get, like, a Horrify off. Yeah, see, we got to get a Horrify off, and then it could work. I wonder if instead of control, you know, I think control wise, we're fine. I think what I want to do is get rid of that armor reduction we keep getting. So we're going to run a uh, attribute reduction purify and see how that works out. Let's see if we can get a horrify on the first front row target. That's perfect. No, never mind. He has energy anyway. <gasps> he does live though. And the carry somehow lived there. That was interesting. He still goes down. A little sad. Get rid of that armor reduction. That might give us the survivability we need because that might be part of the reason why we're dying so quick too is that armor reduction really does a lot. Holy cow. Holy cow. Hold on to your pants, ladies and gentlemen. We might have figured out the matrix. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. We'll try this one right here, but uh, I don't know if we'll actually get through it. So we actually got C lane 25 done with this Aspen, which is pretty impressive to say the least. I do like having both Aspens going before the enemy though. Um, it does seem to be working decently. Uh oh, uh oh yeah, that then we die. So we used up our last time, but C lane 25 is officially done and yeah, it looks like what was the most important part of this was Attribute Reduction Purify. Get rid of that armor reduction means we have a lot more armor, we don't die as fast, and we get the W. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Uh, we'll continue building up this account and get, continue building this, this really, really awesome Edgar up. <laughs>
might be a little bit of clickbait here today. We'll see. I'll see you guys next time.